Hello and in today's Pick Macro Controller assembly we are going to be doing the basic project setup. The first thing is we need to click file and then new project. We are going to create a standalone project. So we click next. We say PIC 16F877A. Select that microcontroller and the entire series is going to be based on this microcontroller. Then we select our tool. You can either have a physical programming tool or the simulator. I am going to be switching between the two at a regular basis, but for now I'm going to select my Picket 4 and then we click Next. And then it looks for the tool chain. We want to use the Pick AS tool chain. We click Next and then we want to call our project Setup. Then we click Finish on that. Okay, and then we are greeted with a empty project folder. First click on source and then we want to create a new pick 8 assembly function.asm. We are not going to be calling it sm. We're going to use setup as the file name and the extension is going to be s. It no longer uses the asm extension. We are now using the .s extension with the new pick dash as assembler. Then we click finish. A very basic template file which we are not going to be using. We can actually erase all of this except for this line since I'm going to be using as this as a reference and I'm moving that include down here. And now we want to add some files to our project which is xc.inc file. So we just click on our header file. I'm not actually sure where exactly it would fall in, but I assume an ink file is like a header file in C. Then we say add existing item. Then we find wherever you have installed your compiler. In my case, it will be my xc8 folder, my version number, pick and include. Then we open that and then we add xc.inc and then we add another item which is pick.inc and our final include file we go to the proc folder and then we just find pic 16f877a.inc and we add that one. Then we copy this line and we add two of these lines. We remove local from both of them. We add a end of the file. So all our code is going to be in this section. I'll explain these in a moment. Then we replace bar funk with reset underscore vec. And that needs to be in the first column. Then on the next psec we add int and vec. Now this will be our interrupt vector. And we add a label underneath that for the interrupt vector. Lastly, we add two more labels, which is going to be set up double point and then main double point. And then under reset vector, we tab in once and we say go to set up. And then in under the int vector label, we say red FIE for return from interrupt. And then in main, we say go to main. So that will be an infinite loop. Now, psect is if you come from older assembler, it is going to be basically the equivalent of your org or code in MPLab ASM. So this is going to be your sections in the flash memory and you need to add this to the pick.as linker. So you copy reset vect then we go up here to where there's default which is the project configuration. We say customize and then we go to the pick.as linker. We add custom linker options. Then we double click the enter string here. We say dash p reset vec equals 0h. So that is going to be at flash location 0. Then we click OK. And because I am lazy, I'm going to apply and click OK. Copy int vec. Say copy. Um, go back. Add another line or dash p paste in int vect and that is going to be equals to 4h so now you have your reset vector in and your interrupt vector section and we click ok and then we apply 
And then we check if it builds. I seem to have made a mistake. Should be no space here. Fly. Okay. And then we get a warning with that it says no start record, entry point default to zero. Well, the entry point is zero at the moment, but just to solve that warning, we say end reset vect. And we compile again, and then we have no warnings. Okay. And now the last thing, if we go to window, we say target memory view, we say configuration bits, and then FOC, we want to set to high speed the watchdog timer we want to disable we'll cover that later power up timer enable bit this is usual for physical hardware but i'm going to leave that off because it does not play nice with the simulator we are going to disable the brownout and we are going to disable low voltage programming and everything basically we're turning everything off in the configuration bits aside from we're using a high speed external oscillator to be exact we are going to be using a 16 megahertz oscillator then we just click generate code and then all we need to do is just copy the config to the config line we have already included our xc include and then we paste that in just tab that out build and just check that everything works okay everything works okay so let's cover this from top to bottom the xc.include is a general include file it basically just decides if we are using a PIC18 or PIC16. As you can see here, it automatically is going to default to the PIC include. And then we go to the PIC include. And then we have a bunch of equivalents here. And then the PIC AS chip select include, which basically just includes the 16F877A microcontroller. And here are all the register defines and positions for the register. Register. So we have our equivalent statements to our human readable defines. That's basically what the include does. It brings in predefined macros effectively for us. Then we have config, which is the configuration bit. So anything prefixed with config is configuration bits. So FOC is the oscillator setting for the PIC microcontroller and that is going to be set to the high speed oscillator we have the vdt as off the power up timer off because it doesn't play nice with the simulator so basically it's just a smaller waiting period before the pick microcontroller starts executing your assembly program the brownout is turned off this is basically just if the voltage drops to low automatically reset the pick microcontroller otherwise it's not really that useful since i have a very consistent 5 volt power supply low voltage programming the picket 4 actually has no support for low voltage programming from what i could read maybe i re misread something anyone is welcome to say something in the comments about it have at it code protection for the eeprom you want this off if you write this to on you have a one-time program chip and your eeprom is going to be useless if you turn this on you only turn this on when you're sure you, this is the last time you're going to program your microcontroller same thing with the flash write memory if you're sure this is the last time you're going to flash your microcontroller you can turn this on and then you can no longer write to the the memory and then you have code protection which is effectively also locks up it but you can't read the flash anymore and then we have psect which is effectively the same as org or the code section which basically tells where we are placing the code in flash memory so we tell the linker this label is at position zero the type is code and then the delta is two so we step two bytes at a time on every line of code reset vector is a label so it just this is if we reset the chip it will go to reset vec or the program section and then we have a go to which basically jumps to the setup line and that will execute immediately we'll start executing the main and then we just go back up here we have another program section which is the interrupt vector with what exactly the interrupt vector is will get explained later in the series and that is located at 
program memory address number four with a delta of two and it is in the code section of the flash and then you have interrupt vector and then immediately call a rectify instruction and this is just a placeholder for now but this stands for return from interrupt and now we're back at setup which are go to jump to so small little thing if you press control and you click it automatically jumps to the label now this label is empty so it will automatically go to main and then we have a go to main so this will continuously jump back to main and then we have the end which is the end of the file in the reset vector program section which refers to the label over here and that is the basic project setup for this pick microcontroller assembly a like share comment and subscribe will always be appreciated the code will be on git thank you have a nice day